This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Finally Friday. Friday. We love Fridays. I know. I'm excited for the weekend. I know. Do you big plans for the be weekend? Nice and... I'm heading actually home to Redwood Falls, Minnesota. Okay, heading yeah. to uh, southern Minnesota. Southern Minnesota. God's country. No, just kidding. Well, and um, I was going to say, no, that's there. not true because my family is heading out to Western North Dakota, oh, God's are you? country. Yes, I, I'm not going, but uh, it's oh, Youth not. Deer Opener this oh, weekend. Right. So it's a special weekend for you did uh, Marley that. and her dad. So. That's so fun yeah, it's to do together. Be, McKenna so, and Dean did that together. They would hunt together? Yes, yes. I know, I feel like I really get so much more time with her and so many more things that right. you know I bond with my daughters over. So they really have a good time. So we'll see. Maybe I'll have some pictures or, you know, some stories well, to share on Monday. Well, hopefully she gets one. Yeah, no kidding, because she's super busy, you know, now with volleyball and everything. Yeah. That's just how families and hunting families go. You gotta, you I know, know, get everything done yeah, at the you same try. time. Yeah, exactly, especially when you're busy with everything else. And if you're going to be in town, you might want to check out the Red Hawks. Yeah, because tonight they are playing. Yeah, and wow. we have some cool video too. A big night for the FM Red Hawks, a grand slam, sending them to the finals for the first time. I'm surprised by this, for the first time in franchise history. Right. John Silviano hit a seventh inning grand slam. So, uh, you know, sealing the deal, big win over the Chicago Dogs. That's and, super uh, of course, cool. big celebrations. Their first ever North Division title and championship series berth. They're going to be hosting Kansas City tonight. Yeah, okay, there Look we go. The That's what we were waiting for. That's what we were all waiting for. <laughs> I just, I love that. It doesn't, I, that's something I, I never got to do. Yeah, a good celebration when with champ, when you're spraying champagne that's and everybody's. That's right. Look at that. Well, obviously they, it, you know, it is the first one because look at how much they are celebrating. That's fantastic. How exciting. So cheers, more champagne in the future. I like sometimes when you see that and they have goggles, they're ready for it. But I don't <laughs> think those guys were ready for. <laughs> that might have stung just a little bit. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, imagine if you have you ever had champagne No, in your I have eye? not had it in my eye, but <laughs> you know, it might be worth it if it Me means neither. that you're you're winning. So, <laughs> anyway, first pitch scheduled tonight at 6:30. Yeah, so. how exciting. Good for them. Fun Congratulations stuff. to the Red Hawks. Like that. So, of course, we have other things going on this weekend. And have you been downtown to um, or to either one of the markets? The markets, uh, the the markets? River markets? I, I haven't. Like this. this is just a great time, even if you don't. I mean, right now it's like harvest, so you're getting a lot of produce. But this weekend, a couple of farmers' markets happening in town. The Red River Market um, is at Broadway Square tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Or head on over to West Acres Mall tomorrow um, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. because they okay. have theirs over there as well. And they've got to be wrapping up pretty soon. You think so? I guess I, I don't know the schedule. You know, it does it does end at some point. I mean, at some point, it, yeah. But anyway, I I, th I had a blast. And it's, it's kind of be a destination location. Again. People go to see other people, and there's a yeah. lot of times entertainment there. It's yeah, like just to walk around. Mm -hmm. There's so much more than what it used to be because it used to be just go get your produce and you'd go home. You know? <laughs> yeah. No. It's so not, there's just a lot not the to case see. Anymore. So that's really fun. Uh, cool. You can also catch some fall fun at the Red River Valley Fairgrounds starting today. Lost in the Valley, the corn maze opens today and a runs through October 31st. You can check out the corn maze on Thursdays and Fridays from 5 to 9 and Saturdays and Sundays all day from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, the pumpkin patch will open October 1st, which is not that far away no, either. No, my gosh, so, it's right around the corner. Um, that's going to be happening October 1st, Fridays 5 to 8, Saturdays and Sundays also pretty much an all-day thing, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And you can check this out on their Facebook page and I think their website too. And it's really cool, like to see the maze was really awesome. Anyway, it's got, they've got great graphics on there too. I was checking it out and it looks really fun. And family friendly. So exactly. Something exactly. for the whole family to do. It's yep. also time for some beers and brats. Oktoberfest yes. Cincinnati is officially underway with the annual running of the Wieners. Okay, this isn't <laughs> happening here, but we no. love the video so I much that we wanted to show you. Yeah. Look at these little docks and pups. Oh, it's such a short little route, but that's so cute. And I love, they're dressed and they in hot dog, dog bun attire. Tire. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so, so adorable. I love it. So Leo the Dachshund was the top dog racing. Uh, 75 feet is what it is in just over three seconds. They're oh, yeah. fast little guys, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Cute. Fast, but short little legs. Short little legs. But yeah, so typically, typically this is all happen or this sort of thing happens in, in Germany. Um, but <laughs> Cincinnati, and they call it Zinzinnati or something crazy like that for Oktoberfest. 
I love Look, that. They're so cute. We have more dogs. And seeing those little costumes, it just makes me think too about Halloween. I know the Halloween, um, the, the stores best. are starting to open up now. I know one of Bailey was like, we need to go to what's in the old like Toys R Us building. There, it's a Halloween store now. Oh, is it? Yeah. She's like, let's let's go. I'm like, you're gonna change your mind like about 12 more times before. Yeah. Uh, you decide what you want. Are you gonna dress up for Halloween? I like to. I think is it on the on a weekend this year? I don't even know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. We should dress up for the we show. We should. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. We used to do that. I think so. It'd be fun. Super blast. All right. Well, we have a great show. Okay. They just said my ears Sunday. Sun oh, it's oh, Sunday. Oh, said Monday. Sunday was a uh, Halloween. So, but then you know you celebrate all weekend at the bars anyway, or you have parties yes. anytime yes, before parties. and after. So, all right. We'll we'll work on that. Maybe we can ask for we'll some get suggestions plan. as well. <laughs> Coming up on today's show, grab the kids and the stroller. I love this. West Acres this Mall is, is doing something really cool. They call it Stroller Squad. We're going to explain uh, who it's all for.